try to understand whenever we have a follow up of a patient of DTC, we need to understand that what is DTC? DTC means differentiated thyroid cancers and it includes the follicular and the papillary. There are two challenges that post total thyroidectomy, I need to replace the thyroid hormone which is required by the body but at the same time I have to understand that I need to keep that thyroid belt under suppression and the second is I need to rule out the residual disease. So to rule out the residual disease we will keep a follow up with thyroglobulin which is the most sensitive along with that we have a neck USD 6 to 12 monthly but the thyroid scan is the crux now. So when do we go for thyroid scan? Total thyroidectomy with the size more than 4, 1 to 4 centimeter with lymphovascular invasion or with capsular invasion. When we don't go students less than 1 centimeter or less than 1 centimeter single or multiple. Now what is the crux of thyroid scan? Whenever we are going for thyroid scan, we understand that we need to raise the TSH so that even a slightest tissue left over is stimulated and for that we need to raise it to 5 to 10 times. So we have the classic way, modern way, modern ways we give recombinant TSH, the advantage is within 48 hours we achieve the target levels but remember the cost is very high. The advantage is no risk of hypothyroidism but the classic one is that we need to abstain everything from iodine and that is why preoperative CT and MRI is not done in case of papillary or follicular carcinomas. So we keep away from exogenous iodine and T4 supplementation for 4 to 5 weeks then we plan a scan if the uptake is more than 10 yes we go for a therapeutic clearance with iodine 131 if it is not we start with follow up and along with thyroid suppression. Now what is thyroid suppression? We maintain you thyroidic state but at the same time we try to minimize the TSH to as low as possible. There are three cases if residual disease is there the target TSH is less than 0.1. If it is residue no residue but a high risk group 0.1 to 0.5 no residue normal risk group 0.5 to 0.5 to 2. So in no case we allow the TSS to go beyond 2. So this is very important thing that we have in follow up of DTCs.